Theft and Taxes, a tale of two farmers. Let's pretend that there are two farmers, Maynard and Fred. Here's Maynard, and here's Fred. Maynard has one horse. Now Fred, because he has worked so hard and saved his money, he's recently been able to buy a second horse. That's right, Fred has two horses. And just so we're clear, uh, for the sake of this story, the horses are necessary. Fred and Maynard each need at least one horse so that they can do their farming. One sad day, Maynard's horse dies. Now Maynard has no horses. What is he to do? How will he plow his fields? Well, if Maynard wants to keep being a farmer, he's going to need a new horse. There are many ways he might be able to acquire a horse, but he decides the easiest way to get one is to wait until dark, sneak into Fred's farm, and steal one of his. After all, Fred has two. Now I ask you, is it morally right for Maynard to steal Fred's horse? No, stealing is wrong. Okay, so let's say that Maynard didn't steal Fred's horse. Instead, let's say Fred and Maynard live near a town. Here's the townspeople. After Maynard's horse dies, Maynard goes to town. He complains to the townspeople that while he is now a farmer with no horses, Fred still has two. This angers the town people. So that night they gather up some torches and pitchforks and they go gather as one mob to take away one of Fred's horses and give it to Maynard. Is it right for them to gang up on Fred and take away his horse, then give it to Maynard? No, that's still stealing, and stealing is morally wrong. Let's say instead of going out at night together as a mob, they hire a professional. Let's call him Ice. Now Ice goes to Fred's house, takes the horse, and gives it to Maynard. Is it right for the townspeople to hire someone else to do the dirty work instead of doing the stealing themselves? No, that's still stealing, and stealing is still morally wrong. Okay, now let's say that the townsfolk get all together in the daytime, and rather than just being a mob, they call themselves, oh, the government. And then the government passes a law saying that all farmers with two horses must give one to us. We'll either give that horse to a farmer with no horses, or we'll sell it to a glue factory to cover costs. What costs, you say? Well, clearly the government doesn't have time to visit all the farms and gather all the horses. So instead, the government hires a professional. Only they change his name from ICE to IRS. Is it right for the townspeople to do this? Does the fact that the townspeople call themselves the government now give them the right to steal? Well, they did pass a law. I suppose that makes it legally right for the townspeople to do this. But does that make it morally right to steal that which belongs to someone else? If they passed a law saying you could steal your neighbor's stuff, would that make it morally right to do it? No, no, and no. Stealing is stealing, no matter how you dress it up, and stealing is wrong. If the townspeople call themselves government and write a law and hire a professional and use the threat of force or jail to take away Fred's second horse, all they have done is performed legal theft and theft is morally wrong. Now lest you think that I am a heartless jerk who would have Maynard and his family go hungry, let's go back to the beginning. We have Fred with two horses, Maynard with one dead horse, and some townspeople. Is it morally right for Fred to just let Maynard's family starve to death? No, of course not. But does that mean that Fred must give Maynard a horse? No. Fred might loan a horse to Maynard and teach him how to care for a horse so that it doesn't die. Fred might hire Maynard and have him work on his farm. Fred might give food to Maynard's family or help him out with the mortgage. Fred might even just choose to give Maynard one of his own horses. Fred has lots of options that go along with his moral responsibility to help his neighbor. But even if Fred refuses to help Maynard, that still does not give the townspeople the moral right to steal Fred's things. Let's recap the lessons of our little story. 1. Stealing is always wrong. 2. We should take care of each other in times of need. That's it.
the end.